Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our LibreOffice Calc series with Surge. In this installment, we take a look at database functions, and these are not to be confused with a database that's integrated in LibreOffice. This is actually Calc itself and how to use database functions within Calc to find data to do a lot of the same type of functions that we've shown along the way, but in a format that's a little different and uses a database function where you define certain criteria within cells and then you use that against a set of data to find what you're looking for. And so there are quite a few database functions. There's an average account. The one that we actually took a look at in this video is eSum. And so search takes us through that. I'll link to this page as well so you can take a look at the others that are there. They all function in a similar way with that. I hope you enjoy the video. Questions and comments below. Thanks for watching. You see, we have defined um, a range of criteria as we did, if you remember, with the advanced filters. With the advanced filters, we had a database, which here you need to um, have also the header, which you don't have in the count if average if, some if, and the equivalent with the S at the end. But here, for the database functions, we need to have the criteria outside the database. And for the database, we need to include the header row in um, when we will apply um, one of the database functions, um, we need to include the header row. So could you click anywhere? No, not there. For instance, in F5 or F6. I will show a simple example of what a database function is. Could you go in Fx and click uh, D sum, D sum. No, uh, D and then S, not, no, no E, D sum, yes. So you see the syntax and it will be always like that. You've got a database, then the second one is your database field. In this case, as you want a sum, you need to mention in which column or which is the name of the column where you're going to apply the function in question, in this case, sum. And the third parameter are your search criteria. And your search criteria, in this case, is a range of cells outside the database itself. So could you click uh, next? So the database is A1 until A1 until D145. The database field, in this case, you can put you, you got uh, three choices, either four, because it is the fourth column. This is one possibility. Another possibility would have been to exactly type the name of the column within double quotes. This would be another possibility. And for your search criteria, you select, uh -huh, but we haven't defined, uh, because this is with a month and uh, it implies already the, um, I mean, uh, the regular expressions. And I would like to avoid this for the first example. So uh, could you cancel uh, the, the wizard? Yes. Uh, we will replace, um, we will uh, do another um, um, criteria range. Could you paste? So copy and paste uh, G1 to uh, J1. No, 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 G1 to J1. Yes. And you uh, paste it in, uh, yes, there, for instance. Yes. And then for the month, we will give, uh, for instance, max. Yes. And then you can click anywhere in the column F. And yes, anywhere. Yes, it's good. And you can uh, FX and go into D sum. Yes. Click. Yes, so the database is A1 until D145. Your database field will be the fourth one, so four, for instance. 
And the search criteria uh, is uh, the range going from J7. No, no, sorry, it's in my fault. G, G7, G, G7. Until um, it's just below until J8. And you click OK. So it gives you 12,875 point something. OK, we will see if this is correct. Could you click on the month and tick, and tick all and choose March? And uh, have all the sum no uh, from the CA. No, 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 you no, not, not there, not there. You have to to select all the cells under CA. Yes. And what does it give below? It, it has it twelve thousand eight hundred seventy-seven dot five five. And we lost our field over yes, here. Yes, you lost because you have a filter. So if you unfilter it, yes. Is yeah. it the same? It was the same, yes. It was the same, okay. So you see here, it's very different from the other functions we saw because here for the database, you have to include the header and for your um, range, you need to define a range of cells outside the database itself. So this is quite different. So here you see uh, you put four, but instead of four, you could change four and yes, delete four, for instance. And if you click, uh, normally D1 should be good. We will see if it's, if it's, it's going. Normally it should be good if you type D1. Yes, enter. You see, it gives you the same. So you have three choices. Either you give the exact um, number of the column, uh, starting with the first column, or you type uh, the cell containing the name of the column. This is the second choice. And the third one is typing exactly the name of uh, that column. So, yes, instead of yes. And then you would have, uh, I think, you might have to put it into double quotes. I think so. C, point, A, point, and double quotes. Yes, you see? You have to type, uh, but there you risk a typo. So it's better to choose the number of the column or to give the address of the cell which contains uh, the name, the title of the column. These are uh, the two best choices because you, you could always make a typo by typing yourself uh, the name of the column. Would it also be true that if you change the name of the column after the fact, let's say you yes, wanted to rename yes, that? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. If, if, if you have uh, the number of the column or if you have the reference of the cell, it doesn't matter which name you give afterwards. One thing, yes, it, it, it wouldn't matter. But if you type, you, in fact, you hard code the name of uh, the column, uh, then, of course, you would have uh, a, mm. a, a problem. Yes, but normally you have to change it in your criterion. There is no CB, you see? You have CB in the database, but you have no CB in your uh, in your Right, you know, no, there you have CB, but in J7, you don't have CB, you see? When, when you oh, change, yes, 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 this is for um, the, the D sum. And now we can show and explain uh, the example I left in the file so that you can see the power of uh, that kind of database function when you use regular expressions. So if you click in G5, yes. So what do we have here? There we have also in G5, uh, is it the, uh, G4? Okay, in G4, sorry. You have also a database function, the DSUM. So the database is the same as A1 until D145. Of course, it is the fourth column where we can do a sum. And then in uh, our uh, cells of criteria, we have for month 
something that ends with ER, so it could be January or February in French, janvier ou février, and we will see it. And for the region, we have, sorry, anything but not something that ends with Loire. So you can see that it is correct. So if you uh, enter, and we will check it. So for the month, you untick all and you choose février, janvier. Yes. Okay. For the region, uh, the region we don't have, sorry, regions is all. But for appellation, we take everything, uh, but not Vin de Loire. Yes. And then you have to select all the cells having cells. And what does it give um, below? It has four, seven, five, five, three. No, no, that is the average. Oh, that's the average. I'm sorry. Some one nine oh two one thirty. So that must be uh, something which is not correct because in uh, I the month. No, yes, it's the right. Month is it's right. Good. It's oh, right. right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. So you see, you, you you can do it that way, and here you have a very good example of a the power of those regular expressions because in one. Um, for one criterion, we wanted to something that ends with a particular with particular characters, uh, the, the G two, in fact, yes. And for the cell uh, I two, we would like to have everything but not uh, something which has uh, Loire in the name. And you see, as they are on the same line, you've got a logical end. So we we want to have. Um, months ending with ER and all the type of wine which don't include Vin de la Loire. And then you have uh, the sum for that database. Now, there are different uh, database functions. There's dsum, but you have dcount. You have, uh, if you go into, yes, if you go into another cell, and you go fx and you type d you will see that you've got a d count d count a then you've got a d sum you have a d um, standard deviation standard deviation p d product and so, and so you've got a plenty plenty of database functions with the same syntax but giving you've got d max d min and so on so it's up to you to choose the function you would like to apply then the first parameter is the database uh, the second uh, parameter gives you uh, where you would like to apply your function and the third parameter is your range of cells which contain your criteria this is the syntax for all the database functions with one exception which is the get but the get Normally, you wouldn't use it unless uh, you've got such a huge database that you can't find uh, that item with the normal filter. Because you see, the get will return exactly one item corresponding to what you're searching. And normally, it would be as easy to go into filter to untick all and to use the scroll bar within the filter to then tick exactly uh, the, the condition you're looking for, because it would take uh, almost the same time for you uh, to do that than to apply the dget function. But it, it exists. If you have a script, for instance, if you, if you had the Libre basic and you had to apply, um, for instance, a routine or a function, and within that function, I mean function in the, the meaning of uh, Libre basic function, not the function you have in the Libre Office Calc, the ones you can define yourself uh, within uh, the programming language Libre basic. Uh, you could then within that function, you could define and use the get so that you would have a particular a particular item and you would do some treatment on that item but this is outside the scope of uh, this video because this video is to illustrate uh, the database functions and not uh, the uh, programming language that you can use the scripting languages that you can use in LibreOffice. so here 
you can uh, you can apply them yourself, but you can choose different functions: the max, the min, the count, the average, and so on. It, the syntax is always the same: three parameters. You've got a database. You've got uh, the position. I mean. Uh, either the number of the column or uh, the title of the column, and the third parameter is your range of criteria. And this uh, shows uh, then the database functions.